Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I want to share a story that many people may relate to but might not know much about. It's about a woman named Emily and the unusual symptoms she began experiencing one year ago. Emily was 28 years old, working in a busy marketing firm, and she had always been healthy. But recently things started to change. She felt exhausted all the time, her periods became irregular, and her mood would swing like a pendulum. She even noticed a bit of milk-like discharge from her breasts, even though she wasn't pregnant or breastfeeding. So Emily did what many of us would do. She went to see the doctor. And after some tests, her doctor told her that she had something called hyperprolactinemia. Today we're going to break down what hyperprolactinemia is, why it happens, and the ways we can treat it. Hyperprolactinemia is when you have high levels of prolactin in your blood. Prolactin is a hormone produced by the pituitary gland, and it's mainly responsible for milk production after childbirth. But it also plays a role in regulating our menstrual cycle, immune function, and even mood. When prolactin levels go up and stay high, it can cause some puzzling symptoms, just like Emily experienced. The symptoms of hyperprolactinemia can vary, but the most common include irregular periods, infertility, low libido, mood swings, and yes, the strange discharge from the breasts. These symptoms often go unnoticed or they get attributed to stress, lifestyle changes, or other conditions. But for Emily, her symptoms were persistent. So her doctor decided to do a blood test to check her prolactin levels. So what causes hyperprolactinemia? Well, the causes can vary from person to person. The most common cause is a benign pituitary tumor called a prolactinoma. This tumor presses on the pituitary gland, leading it to overproduce prolactin. But there are other possible causes too, like certain medications, thyroid problems, or even stress. When Emily's doctor explained her diagnosis, she was relieved to know that a small tumor was causing her symptoms, and importantly, it was treatable. Now let's talk about treatment. The good news is there are multiple ways to manage and treat hyperprolactinemia. First, medications are often the go-to solution, particularly a group of drugs called dopamine agonists. These medications can lower prolactin levels and over time can shrink the tumor if it's present. Two commonly prescribed ones are bromocryptine and cabergoline. Many people respond really well to these medications, just like Emily. After a few months, her symptoms started improving. Her periods went back to normal, her mood stabilized, and she felt more like herself again. In cases where medication doesn't work, or if the prolactinoma is very large, surgery might be considered to remove the tumor. But this is less common, and most people don't need to go that route. Radiation therapy is another option, though it's rarely used unless the tumor is very aggressive. Thankfully for most, medication is very effective. Living with hyperprolactinemia doesn't have to take over your life. With the right treatment and follow-up, most people can manage it effectively and live normally. Emily now goes for checkups every few months to monitor her prolactin levels and adjust her medication as needed. So that's Emily's journey with hyperprolactinemia. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms like irregular periods, mood swings, or unexplained breast discharge, remember you're not alone and help is available. Make sure to talk to a healthcare professional, get tested, and explore your treatment options. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or personal stories to share about hyperprolactinemia, drop a comment below. Let's keep the conversation going and help more people understand this condition. See you next time.